Hello there. In this session, we're going to have an overview of the dashboard in ESET Protect Cloud. When you first look at the dashboard, we can see a status overview where we see all of the devices reporting back to this console and any of the status associated with that. We can see total number of devices, how many are okay, how many with a severe security risk, and how many that require attention. And we can break that down into desktops, servers, and mobile devices. We can see connection status, and we can see the component version status of any of those devices reporting back to us. We also have an RSS feed and a management status for those computers reporting. On the computers pane, we can see any groups that we've created, and within those groups, we can see any computers and their relevant statuses. Of course, any of these can be actioned and worked on. We can click on any tab, and we can do various actions associated with these computers. Under the detections tab, we can see any detections which have been picked up recently. These are broken down into status. And of course, we can drill down into the groups and see where those detections are associated. We see the status of these detections, what created the detection, the detection type, cause, any action associated with that, how many times it's occurred, and whether it's been resolved. We also see the computer name, IP address, and various other information relating to this detection. We also have a reporting section where we can create reports based on templates, or we can actually uh, create our own template. And we can see any scheduled reports if we have any ready to go. We have a section where we can create some tasks and these tasks will be triggered. We have a section where we can see our tasks and we can see any tasks that have already been created or we can create a new one. In our installer section, we can create any installers. We can also see any valid installers and any installers that have been created which are no longer available or expired. Any policies we've created will appear in policy section. We can also see any policies that we have in place and we can also create new policies for any groups of computers that we wish them to be part of. In our notification section, we can see any notifications which are currently created. And if required, we can create some new notifications and we can choose whether they're enabled or disabled. We also have a status overview where we can see the status of our current network. We can see licenses, licenses that are available and any that are expiring. We can see information about the agents, management agent, we can see how many computers are connecting, the ESET components and security products, mobile devices, and any invalid objects, which are tasks or notifications on this particular network. In the ESET solutions here, we can see if there are any solutions which we are using or available to us. And we can purchase these direct from here if we want to add them to this setup. Under the more section, we can see information on detections under submitted files, exclusions, quarantine. We can see computer users, dynamic group templates. We can go to license management. We can see our user rights and permission sets for our access. We can look at the audit report for users which have logged in using this Protect Cloud console. 
and we can go to our settings to change any settings for this setup. You'll also notice that we have some quick links which will take us directly to various areas. You'll also notice that we have a help section here where we can take us to our knowledge base, support forum, we can contact support directly, and we can also visit Wheel of Security, ESET's own security blog. We can see who's logged in, and we can log out if required. ESET Digital Security. Progress. Protected.